Hello and welcome to GLA's pocket size class. Today we are going to talk about pronunciation and we've got five words for you here which are used almost every day and maybe we are not pronouncing them correctly. So today we will learn how to do that. Our first word on our list is this. Congratulations. Congratulations. If you look at the parenthesis of how to pronounce the word congratulations. Put that together. Congratulations. Now, why people tend to make an error in this is because sometimes we use the short form of this word and we say congrats, which is fine. But the same is not true for this. This will not become congratulations. It will stay as congratulations. So it's congratulations. Okay. Number two. This is a disease which has affected a lot of people in India over the past few years. And we keep seeing this word. The correct pronunciation for this is dengue. Dengue. Okay, even though we might keep hearing dengue, but the correct pronunciation is dengue. Okay, let's move to number three. Number three is something that we have seen a lot over the last year and this year. And this word is quarantine. 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 Okay, quarantine at number three. Number four is something that all of us use a lot because of our cell phones and that word is data, 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 not data, data, okay. So I need some more data and our next word is this one here at number five which is beta. Beta. There is a lot of beta testing going on these days. Okay. So even though it looks like written as beta, this is a Greek alphabet which is beta. Okay. So our five words for today then are congratulations, dengue, quarantine, data and beta. Okay. So if you have liked this video and the information that was here, I would really like you to like, share and subscribe to our channel, uh, share it with your friends and family and we will be bringing to you a lot many more such pocket sized videos with bits and pieces of interesting information related to everyday usage of the English language, right? So. Till the next time, all the best, take care.